Hello, welcome back. My name is Karen with the Wacky. I wrote down a list of five things that I wished I had known about Fudan University's academic system. This is in the perspective of a student coming to Fudan University through an exchange program. So without further ado, let's get started. Professors are not required to hand out syllabuses for their class. So sometimes you'll catch professors handing out their physical syllabuses to the class and some just verbally telling you their syllabus or the rough plans for their course on the first day of class. I am definitely more used to having a concrete plan right in front of me. But it's not super hard to readdress as long as you don't skip out on class and you pay attention while you are in class and also have some reliable friends also in class. It'll be easy to adapt to the new way of life. And there's always people like them who you might find annoying or helpful depending on which side you are on. Okay class, just a reminder that assignment 1 will be due at 10 a.m. online on August 31st. Yes. Professor, is assignment 1 due on August 31st? Yes, that's correct, Jessifer. Yes, Jane Is it due 10 a.m. online? Yes. Yes. Just to confirm, our assignment one is due August 31st, 10 a.m., right? Fudan University has a rule that says that no more than 30% of the students in any given class can get an A- minus or higher. This is a school rule and all professors are expected to abide by this rule. And the second thing you need to do is to familiarize yourself with the grading scale. It may not be what you are used to. For example, unless a class is weighted, most US schools go by this system. So if you scored an 85% on exam, it's an A- minus in Fudan University, whereas where I'm from, which is the US, it will be a B. Therefore, if you get a lower score on your exam, don't fret like I did, because you probably didn't do as poorly as you imagined you did. Most of your classes as a foreign student will be at Guanghua Lo, which is the tallest building on campus. And here's a tip. When looking for a class, make sure you know which side you're entering from, either from the east wing or the west wing. Because from the inside, all the classrooms look identical. It's a mirror image. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Why do you look like me? Who? Uh-huh. So you get something like that happening at Guanghualo. If your class is not at Guanghualo and you don't know where your class is, just type the Chinese characters of the location in Baidu Maps, aka Baidu D2, and Baidu D2 will lead you to where the building is. Then voila, you should be fine and should be able to find your classroom. In my opinion, if you're only taking English courses at Fudan University, your options can be quite limited. You can find a list of classes on this website. It usually gets updated every July. If you are a STEM major at your home university, you probably won't be able to find any classes regarding your major at Fudan University since Fudan University is a liberal arts type of school and not a technical one. As you can see, the list is very limited in terms of bio classes or engineering classes, chem major, probably no hope here. So therefore, you should carefully look through what classes the school offers before applying for Fudan University. Otherwise, you might not be able to graduate on time. Semi-important note that you have to take down is to remember your phase one, two, and three. Jot down the dates and sign up for the classes on time. Some classes are quite competitive and most of them are capped, meaning that the professors only have a certain amount of seats and once those seats are filled, they will not accept any more students. 
But let's say phase one passes by and you realize that you can't get into your dream class because it's capped and it's full. Don't fret. If you don't get into your dream class, you can always come back to next phase or in phase three or after classes begin to see if you can enroll in. You have two weeks after the school begins to shop around for classes, to test the waters of the class that you're interested in. So good luck. I hope you get into all your dream classes. This is very important because from my program for UCAP, a lot of students did get into the classes they want to get into. But uh, for other foreign international students, like I had a lot of friends from Germany who said that they were not able to enroll into classes until one or two days before the classes start. They said they were panicking and they didn't know what to do. So just be mindful of the dates. Uh, know that you can sign up for classes one to two months ahead of time. Just be aware if your university didn't tell you this, I just told you, so you're welcome. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and please give this video a like if this video was helpful for you. And the spicy question of the week is... Are you an early bird or are you a night owl? I am a night owl 248% of the time. I relish the night. I love the night. I love you, Mr. Night. Ha 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 Do you guys get it? <laughs> Alright then, until next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.